Hey everybody, welcome back to Change Your Perspective, Change Your Awareness, Change Your Life, Dr. Michalina AF, hashtag that felon doctor, here to talk to you about greed today. And um, I have a friend who says like, greed gets every man. And I don't know if it's true, but I don't know that it's false. Because we do have this strange tendency to want more, 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 more all the time. It's something that's kind of inherently in us. And I think it's something to do with being in the flesh, honestly, because we're never fully satisfied, right? It's this tough thing that we grow complacent with what we've, we have. And so when we, we work so hard for something, we get it. And then we're like, okay, I've got it. What next? I am guilty of this. I cannot lie to you. Ambition is a tricky, tricky mistress. I will say that. But um, greed has a lot to do with always needing more and never being satisfied. And that can be literally anything, which is kind of tricky, right? Greed can be for money. It can be for love. It can be for sex. It can be for attention. It could be for material possessions. It could be for relationships. It could be, so greed can pop up literally anywhere at any time in any way. When you're wanting more, 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 you're like a cup that can never be filled. You're a bottomless like cup. And so if you can never be satisfied, you're going to fall into greed. And the worst, I would say, I don't wanna categorize, like, um, I don't wanna judge and I don't wanna categorize negatively here, but I will say the worst cases of greed are when nothing's ever enough and you need everything. Some people are just greedy in certain things. I need more money. Miserly, you know? But a lot of times when it hits in one area, it's gonna hit in multiple areas. Greedy people are never happy because they're never satisfied because it's never enough. And somehow they always need more. So if you are, we have cautionary tales on this, right? If you are familiar with um, A Christmas Carol, right? We're what? three weeks from Christmas. A Christmas Carol talks about Scrooge and how he's always hoarding stuff for himself. And then like these ghosts come and visit him and it's like, hey, like you're gonna die alone basically. <sighs> Greed is the opposite of the way we're supposed to function. We are supposed to serve. That is why we're here. We're here to serve. We're here to serve. We're here to serve. We're here to help. We're here to help. We're here to show up for people because they can't always show up for themselves. And to be perfectly honest, a lot of times we can't show up for ourselves. If I'm being completely frank. And so what ends up happening is that we are here to serve. And as a result of the service we do, we reap that reward. This is just the law of sowing and reaping. This is just the way it goes. This is just a universal principle. I'm not making it up. It exists. And, um, Earl, Earl Nightingale, I think it's, it was, who said like, your level of service will be directly proportional to like the rewards you receive. It's just the way it goes. And so when you serve a lot of people at high levels, your net work is your net worth. You get more money. When you're trying to take advantage of people, that's never gonna last. Greedy people are always trying to take advantage. Greedy people are, are takers. They're not givers. What can I get? What can I get? What can I get? What can I get? How can this serve me? How can I leverage this situation so I win? It's very transactional and it's very not trusting, probably and mostly because needs weren't served in childhood. This is almost always where it comes back. It's almost always where we can go is that you didn't get something that you needed in childhood. And so what you do is you store up, you store, you store, you store, you make sure that you're never out of the reserves because you need it. And too much is never enough. That's the opposite. That's the opposite of how we're told to live. Moderation in all things. Don't be afraid to lose what you got. There's a season for everything. And if you're Christian, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, right? And so when you fall under greed, you're actually falling in on, under an operating system that really doesn't serve you. It just feels like it does. And Greed is, I think, a tricky one because it shows up emotionally, physically, and in the ego. 
it can go in all those places. So it's kind of a triple threat where physically you can get addicted to getting more, getting like dopamine hits, right? Um, emotionally, you can feel more powerful and in control when you've got more. And then prideful, it's like, oh, look at what I amassed. Look at what I did. Look at my ego, right? And so greed can kind of encapsulate pride and lust, you know? Pride plus lust equals greed a little bit. Not necessarily true, but like, Greed's a tricky, 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 tricky one because it's so multifaceted. And um, when, if, if you have a greed problem, what you might wanna start doing is practicing gratitude and satisfaction. Practice gratitude and satisfaction, right? You're going to want to be like, and this can be tricky, like I know. This money is good. This money is enough right now. I have enough to get by. I have enough to pay all my bills and do this and do that and the other thing, right? Satisfaction. I'm so grateful for the sex I have. I don't need to be having sex with everybody. Um, other places greed can show up, right? I want this car, I want that house, I want this, that promotion. I'm so grateful for the job I have. Now, saying I'm so grateful for the job I have doesn't necessarily mean feeling so grateful for the job I have. Starts in the mind. Where the mind goes, the man follows, right? So if you can think the thoughts first. I don't care if you feel them and I don't even care if you believe them yet. Thoughts create feelings. Feelings create beliefs. Beliefs create action, okay? T-F-B-A. Thoughts, feelings, beliefs, action. So if you can get your thoughts right, that's the beginning of the game change. Recognize the thoughts so you can change them. The feelings will follow. Can't help themselves. Beliefs will come after. This is the thing too about, I don't, this is a whole teaching for another day, so I don't wanna to get too much into it, but comment below if you want me to go into a thought, feeling, belief, action teaching. That might even have to be a course, honestly, but we judge people off their actions. That's like 10%, it's the iceberg. 10% of what we see is actually a result of 90% of what goes on behind the scenes. A person is going to maybe try to steal from someone else, because they function under this greed premise and they think they don't have enough, right? The thoughts are, I don't have enough, I'm not gonna be taken care of, um, it's not safe for me not to have more, right? Not consciously, subconscious thoughts here. We function 95% out of our subconscious. Our subconscious is cemented by age 14. Zero to seven, we function in theta state. Seven to 14, we're cementing our subconscious and Zero to 14 is what we're living out of until we stop doing that. It's why you keep hearing about reparenting. I don't wanna go into it all, I'm talking about greed here, but if you didn't have enough, then we're greedy little things as children, right? So like, this is why I think greed's an interesting one because it kind of gets cemented into our subconscious until we stop doing it. And again, uh, this isn't true for everybody. Not everybody's like this. I will say like, some people have a more natural disposition to not be like this. So if this doesn't apply to you, this is not your, this is not your vice of choice. But I do think it can be something that can creep up maybe a little bit more easy, more easily perhaps. So greed, super interesting. Um, and if you see it where you're never satisfied, you're always wanting more, 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 it's never enough, it's never enough, never enough. Um, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need that, need, 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 um, Practice satisfaction, practice gratitude because, um, and you know what, even one more, you can practice delayed gratification, which is tricky, 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 because greed is also kind of impulsive. Need this now, need this now, want this now, need this now, need, 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 need. Um, so if you practice delayed gratification, that can be a super helpful thing as well. All taking time, it's all a practice, it's all a mental game, right? Your mind is a muscle that you have to train just like anything else in your body. And unfortunately, we're so busy training our body, we don't even think about our mind. So I hope that is helpful. If you do struggle with greed, I'm hoping that these three, three things will be something that you can use um, to kind of move through it, move past it. Like I said, greed is one of those that I can struggle with, but I don't necessarily have to. I tend to struggle more with ambition and satisfaction, but needing more sometimes. Yeah, I mean, sometimes. So this is why I brought up fourth. It's, it's there. 
The next three, not as much, but these four, like I said, I, I know my flaws. <laughs> Do you know yours? I hope so. I hope this is helping. So, um, if you like what you're seeing here, like, subscribe, uh, grow the channel, hit the bell, comment below. And if you want a thought, action, feeling, if not, sorry, thought, feeling, belief, action, uh, comment below, let me know. And I will be seeing you here next time for more conversation on possible vices. See you then.